Hey guys, hold on, I'm back. Listen, I had to turn that down. I said something in 11, in my last video that's uploading right now. And let me clarify, because I'm not saying we need to abolish all churches, okay? I, I don't mean it like that. I mean, using your discernment, hang on, using your discernment, okay? Um, there are, I don't know if I'm going to be able to recover from this one, but either you know what I mean or, or you don't. I'm not saying every single church is bad. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying what was coming through to me and, and, and the proper teaching. Um, and really building your own personal relationship with God. Um, not being hand fed by anybody, including myself or anyone. But to get in and to read and to get quiet. I'm here. Oh my God, I'm getting hot over here. To get quiet in the stillness, you know, I was reading in Matthew earlier about um, after Jesus was baptized, then he went to be tempted by the devil, you know. You know, the, the fasting for 40 days and all that. And, and when he was hungry, after 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus was hungry. And that's when Satan came upon him and, you know, showed him the kingdoms and, you know, cast your, throw yourself down and angels will come up and, you know. So, I really... Anyway, I'm not finding the words to say, to explain, or anything. I'm not finding the words, so um, I guess I'm, I can't speak on it anymore. <laughs> and I am going to say this. If anyone thinks otherwise that... Um, I'm anything or I think or feel or talk anything other than love and light. That's a you problem. That's a you problem. Um, I know who the hell I am. I was going to say the F word and then I said the H-E-L-L -L word. either know or you don't. I heard liberate. And that's what Jesus came to do. And that's, you know, why you laugh? And that's why I've been placed here. Is to help liberate the common person, right? To help liberate us. Who the hell is she? Well, she is somebody that the enemy has been after her entire life. I've had to, these things happen to me for my soul progression. And, and to be a, a mere human walking around with all these adversities and adversaries to come upon me to strike me down to do all these things to show to be a way shower as well that it's bigger than that that it's all about love it's to carry on the family tradition what family Jesus family what Jesus came he came to liberate us from our trap souls you know they want to say it's a battle for your soul it is a fucking battle for your soul 
liberate yourself, liberate your soul so you can live in the kingdom. So you can have heaven on earth, peace, transparency, love. To live in, in a world that's going to come upon us, to live in a world where we don't have to have written word. I don't know if there'll be any of that. But everyone will know what everyone else is thinking because there's transparency, because we are all of that. Everything. Excuse me. And I'm going to burp and yawn. Here we go. Ugh. It's going to be the, un, the uncovering, the unveiling of, of, the, of the religions, of the churches, of the people, of the places, of the things. Light being shone, shone, shined, shone, whatever, upon the darkness. Soon you'll all see. And there's a choice to be made. All the churches, all the people, all the things that, like um, Jesus said, where did he say that at? Where did Jesus say that at? Um. I'm going to pause it. Oh, dang. I'm going to have to go. I've got a, a phone call coming in. So, we'll get back to that. Nope, he's gone. We'll call him back in a minute. Agents. Agents. right here 519 I think whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven but whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven it's 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 like it's like And, and it, it, it's like these preachers, pastors, or whatever, teaching how they were taught, how they were taught to understand the Bible, or whatever, and, and teaching upon that. Some of them may be even unaware, but don't we kind of just teach from our own perspective on things, from where we're at in our lives, from how our lives have cult have cultured us? Yeah. How our, our lives have cultivated who we are. And teaching from that. But... Father knows our heart. And the more that we ascend, the more that we ascend, ascension happens when you leave your body, I believe. That's ascension to me. How I know it, how it's put upon my heart. I'm not saying that's gospel truth. I'm just saying that's how it's put upon my heart. Now I'm freaking coldies. But you know, in Jesus' name, I ask and I pray that you get your discernment, that you wake up and you make the decision to want to come home to the Father, 
to love to what's inside of you and be love and carry on the teachings the workings and the love and the and that Jesus spoke of our brother you know like Jesus said I didn't come what does he say think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets I am not come to destroy but to fulfill but to fulfill isn't that what we're here for to for to also to fulfill what's been written not until it's fulfilled will he come then to do those don't you think that 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 the, the spirit of God of the Father of Jesus the Holy Spirit has come to judge they came to have you not be of the world as you live in it but to be the light on the mountain on your candlestick to be the beacon of light to show the world who the father is the father's love when we come from love everything else falls away we're not less than we're not any of that we are all the same in an aspect if you think of it spiritually hmm. now that didn't make any sense I know what it means I know where I'm coming from I'm gonna leave it at that it's all part of the fuckery the words that we use right to cloud our judgment to cast spells upon ourselves by saying weekend and morning weekday and job just over broke work it's not work when you come from that place that holy place of love it gives you energy makes you feel good it's not like work it's not being chained and fucking hammering rocks in a underground somewhere working for the man you know this probably did not help at all did it <laughs> we're gonna go so I can call my friend back I don't know you guys all I know is it's a beautiful place to be <laughs> when I look outside and it's so beautiful I remember a year or two ago when I was walking around and all these birds were flying and they were all flying above my head and it's like the world stood still and then everything was so bright and beautiful and the place I was walking looked the same but it looked different my whole world changed but it's the same world but it looks different from my perspective from what I see we just want you to come to that but it's an inside job that decision comes from yourself we are not less than we all and I'm gonna find that verse when they want me to about Jesus saying that we can do even greater things let thine eye be single the pineal gland what connects us to the father hello have some more fluoride eat some more sugar I will gladly <laughs> take boron 
B O R O N. It destroys, it removes, it takes out fluoride from your system. Bentonite clay is great to put on your face. You could put it on the bottom of your feet to detox yourself. You can also drink it if you get the right kind. Mix it in water, let it sit for 30 minutes at least. Mix it up, it's like drinking dirty clay water. It don't taste great, and you have to drink a lot of water with it. But you know what it does? It binds things to it. It removes like heavy metal. I just saw a white butterfly and stuff like that. Look these things up. Ayurvedic. Ayurveda. Anything from the dot knot feather. I'm not trying to be rude about that. People from India. How's that? Somebody said that to me once, so I've been using that all the time. And I don't mean to be offensive, please. <laughs> I'm Cherokee and Apache Indian. Figure that out. Scotch and Irish. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Japanese and English. All of it. I have a son, one of my sons did a, a you know, a genealogy, not a genealogy thing, but a DNA thing. And um, ancient. Now, his dad did it as well, and his dad didn't have those things, some of the things in, in his DNA report that my son does, so that comes from my side of the family, you know. The Neanderthals and shit like that, and, and Egyptians, and Japanese, of course. It's from my side, from my daddy. My dad was half Japanese. His mom was full-blooded Japanese. They're from Hawaii. The Robinson family. Now, Robinson was really high in the military and the Navy during Pearl Harbor. My, da my dad moved to the States when he was five during that war time. Where most Japanese were in concentration camps here in the States, my dad and his mother were not. How does that happen? Oh, yeah. Because his daddy was, like, up there. Up there! Many things we don't know, but during that time, they did a lot of those MK, ultra, I mean, a lot of those test things, so who knows? They own an island called Niihau, N-I-I-H-A-U. Yes, I'm an heiress to all of them. Am I not? By blood. I don't know my family, my mom's side or my dad's side, hardly at all. So there's that. I have two sisters and a brother from my dad. I could have more that I don't even know about. Who the fuck am I? Is my dad even dead? I heard there was a, a death certificate that came through. But my mom looked at me and she goes, Serena, I've seen two or three death certificates on your dad, so... He was very connected in Chinese and Mexican Mafia, okay? Never met the man, but when Tyler and I were staying um, up north, Gladstone, I don't know, whatever area, I'd rent an Airbnb for a month, and we'd go out to Denny's because I'd like to get coffee and breakfast. And I saw a man there, and I was like, oh, my God. I go, Tyler, I got to go talk to him. I got to go help this man. His knees were wrecked. And I helped him out to his car, and I talked to him, and I was like, God, why do I feel like this is my dad? I looked at his face. I don't know. I still don't know who that man was. Man, I had this overwhelming feeling that he was my father. I don't know if he would be, because my dad was 36 when I was born. Why am I saying all this? Robinson is my maiden name. I have cousins and stuff. I have no idea where they're at. I have no idea who's alive and who isn't. I have no idea. But if they're to see me, 
And maybe this is happening for you. Somebody's looking for you. Someone's trying to find you because there is money and there is property and there and there is things that are owed to you that family members are trying to take. And I feel like that's part of my story as well. I don't know. I can't prove it. I'm not going out looking for it. Because I guess I have the faith and the belief that if it is to be so, it will be so. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. It's been my dream my entire life, even before I found out that we own an island there and stuff like that. And that that's my family, the Robinson family. I think they are on Oahu as well. Um, they're supposed to be super mega rich. I don't know. But I never wanted to go there, and I've been poor my whole life. Well, I can't say that because when I was older, I used to have a shit ton of money because I worked for it, right? Um, but I always live very frugally, always saving and stuff, but I didn't really pursue looking for them because I wanted to be established and well off because I wasn't going looking for riches and to be taken care of. I just wanted to know who my family was. I want to know my culture. I want to know where I come from. I want to know all of that. Weird. I'm going on this weird tangent. came out with some freckles, I got hazel eyes, my hair turned, you know, auburnish with the red in it. I was blonde hair and blue eyed. All my kids were too. My jeans are strong, yo. <laughs> Fucking strong. I have a beautiful granddaughter with red hair and blue eyes. Oh my gosh, she's a goddess. She's something. And I'm watching Vikings and, 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 and I just always get she's a Nordic goddess. I don't know where I get that from because I don't know if Nordic people, whatever that means anyway, have red hair. She's got the red hair. She's got the big hands. She's she's going to be a brute, man. I just feel like she's, she's everything to me. I love her so much. I don't get to see her that much. But I will. We have many things to teach her. And her mom makes her food and, you know, buys good food. I'm, I'm just so thankful for that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, honey, for doing that for our little baby girl. Anyway, I'm just rambling, ramble on. Sing that song. All right, and you know, I keep forgetting I have an earpiece and you can hear everything. <laughs> can you hear my brain? We're gonna go. I'm gonna call my buddy back. Peace. I'm not a hater of church. I don't hate anything. I don't like religion because of what it's based and built upon and the lies and the bullshit. I'm a lover of God, the truth, and the word. And Jesus, of course. Namaste. <laughs>